How I got back into collecting was really my friend Pat asked Max and I to open a pack of cards one year before the baseball season together. And I hadn't bought a pack of cards in 15, 20 years. And it really was that one pack of cards that we opened together. I still remember. I think we were all on FaceTime, weren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and we opened that pack of cards and that just kind of opened the door again for me back into the hobby. I'm Kevin Osterhaus. I am co-founder and owner of Big O's Cards and this is my son Max. So Big O's Cards is an online sports card business. We're live six hours a week and we sell primarily through eBay and Facebook groups. Card breaks are really a way to join a community, collect what you like. You're able to target certain teams, specific types of cards. It's really a way to join into the hobby and not feel like you have to buy an entire box of cards. What we saw was really, I think, an opportunity to bring something to market that was family friendly. You know, it's a safe place for people to, to buy into breaks regardless of what their ages are. You know, it's not a huge group, so it's not super hard to try and get into breaks or get overwhelmed with too many breaks on eBay. We also offer some cheaper options and some higher end options so I think there's definitely room for everyone kind of in the mix. And One of the things that makes us different, I think our shipping times are pretty quick compared to many breakers. I know I've been in breaks recently and it's taken two weeks for me to get my cards. We really strive to get our customer cards out within three business days of a break. But again, I think it's really that family friendly, safe environment for people to come hang out. And, and even if you don't buy into a break, Hopefully you tune into a video and maybe that piques your interest and you're able to meet another collector. So you might see a Lego Hulk uh, figure on our showcase. Uh, that's actually reliant of, it's called our Hulk smash hit of the break. So as we go along in each break, uh, we'll put the top card or what I think is, you know, the best card or my favorite card up in that. And that was an invention of my little brother. We were downstairs breaking one day and he came down with a Lego Hulk figure and asked if we could keep it on screen because he wanted to be involved, so that's kind of where that came from. Thinking back to when I started collecting as an eight or nine year old and all the lawns I mowed to chase the 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie and opening packs, and I was really fortunate to grow up a quarter mile from a sports card shop and became good friends with the owner and ended up actually working at that shop in Portage uh, with two of my good friends who I still stay in contact with today. You know, one of the one of my fond memories, certainly I learned about the sports card business, but there were many weeks I signed my paycheck right back to the owner and went home with sports cards. And what I realized, I may not have realized it at the time, but for me it was really about that connection with people. Certainly I loved busting cards and opening packs, but it was really a way to hang out with people and to build those relationships. If you're interested in what we have going on, check out our Facebook page. Uh, Big O's Breaks. Uh, second is there's a link on that page right to our eBay store where you can buy into breaks. Uh, you're welcome to watch any of the breaks we have posted on Facebook, but those are really the two steps. Join our Facebook group, Big O's Breaks, and two, check out the link to our eBay store.